Good afternoon folks, I'm Dan, back to working on the 701 airplane project. Today I'm going to start assembling the flapperons. I previously cut and formed all the parts for them, the ribs are all for them, uh, both the full ribs front and rear. Uh, I got four spars formed up and the hinges. The hinges are the first thing that mount on these and of course Zeno tells you the the um, assembly manual tells you to start with the right wing outboard edge. Well, of course, I have the left wing done, so we're starting with the left wing, or the left wing's closer to being done. A um, couple little things to note. The inboard spar is actually shorter than what the developed length is for your spars, so it has to be fitted to length, and the, the very inboard rib is set at an angle, so you have to kind of measure that out and figure out exactly what the length of that spar needs to be. I'm going to go ahead and assemble the skeletons. Get the I'm going to go and get the hinges and the first nose rib on each of the spars, or the first two nose ribs that attach to the hinge brackets. And I'm going to go ahead and get those in place. I've already measured out my uh, wings. And just to double check them, I think they're built to the print, so I'm very comfortable with going ahead and building them before the wings are actually completed. I'll uh, measure out the first one which they all measure out basically the same. The outboard ribs are 410 millimeters in from the end, and then they're 1,200 millimeters from inside to inside, I believe. I'll double check that. And then at the other end, there's 180 millimeters inboard of those ribs. So if we mount the first one there, then we should be... My mounting goes to the wrong side. 1200 to the next one. And we should have 180. And we do. One left and one right. like that. 12 degree angle on the top of the spar. So that will sit right there. Twelve hundred in between, and we do. So I'm going to take this out to the airplane and double check that the spacing is right on it and it sits where it needs to sit. And then we'll come back in, drill and cleco those in place, and then we can start fitting the ribs. Well, I've got all four of the spars. I've got the hinges installed. I've got uh, nose ribs on the first spar on the left outboard spar. Everything's cleco in place. I was going to go ahead and rivet them together, but I don't think I will until I actually fit the skin to them, because that way I can, for the cutouts in the bottom of the skin, I can go ahead and pull those out and measure them and make a little bit neater cutouts maybe on those. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and lay out the rest of it, go ahead and get the ribs installed, and have the skeletons done for the...
we've got the hinges and the nose rib that fits on each of the hinges on the bars for the flaperons. And we've got all four of them in that position there, clear coat in place. And we will take and leave it at that for today. Next time we'll go ahead, install the rest of the spars, uh, get them drilled out to proper size, and part of it will rivet together, part of it will leave Cleco until we skin them. Anyway, if you find these videos helpful, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave any comments you've got for me, and give me a thumbs up if you like them. Thanks for taking the time to watch.